John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text And Abraham took Ishmael his son, and all that were born in his house, and all that were bought with his money, every male among the men of Abraham's house, and circumcised the flesh of their foreskin in the selfsame day, as God had said unto him. Genesis 17:23. Commentary And Abraham took Ishmael his son. To circumcise him, he took his son first, to set an example to his servants, and that they might the more readily comply when they saw that Abraham's son, and at that time his only son, was circumcised before their eyes. And all that were born in his house, which were 318 when he rescued Lot from the kings, Genesis 14:14, 14, 14, and perhaps they might be now increased. And all that were bought with his money, how many those were, it is not easy to say, no doubt they were many. Every male among the men of Abraham's house, whether children or servants, and those little or grown up, and circumcised the flesh of their foreskin, in the selfsame day, as God had said unto him. He performed this operation in the manner God directed him, the same day he spoke to him of it, he was not disobedient, nor dilatory to obey the command of God, but at once complied with it, not consulting flesh and blood, not regarding the pain he and his should endure, or the shame or danger they should be exposed unto through the heathens about them, but trusting in God, and committing himself to him, and having his fear before his eyes, he hesitated not, but cheerfully did the will of God. In doing this work he might have some assistance it is highly probable he began it himself, and circumcised several, and having taught some of his servants how to perform it according to the divine prescription, they might assist him in going through with it.